Hey, pharmacists, I've got an important news update for you. For the first time in over 20 years, the FDA has approved a brand new class of medication for pain management. The medication is called Jernavix or Suzetrogene. It's an oral non-opioid pain reliever for the treatment of moderate to severe acute pain in adults. It comes as a 50 milligram pill and the starting dose is two pills and then one pill every 12 hours based on individual patient treatment goals. Now, it's important to note that the use of Jernavix for the treatment of acute pain has not been studied beyond 14 days. The reason this matters is because acute pain is a serious and potentially disabling condition that individuals suffer with all around the world. In the U.S. alone, over 80 million people receive prescriptions for moderate to severe pain every year, and of these, half are prescribed an opioid. And while opioids are effective, they come with serious risks, including addiction, dependence, and overdose. This is why the approval of a new non-opioid pain medication is such a big deal. To put it simply, Jernavix blocks pain signals before they reach the brain. More specifically, it targets a sodium channel found in nerve cells that send pain signals from the body to the brain. Because Jernavix only blocks pain at the source, or the peripheral nerves, and not the brain, it provides effective pain relief without the risks of opioids. The FDA approval was based on two large clinical trials in patients recovering from a tummy tuck and foot surgery. In addition to receiving the randomized treatment, all patients in the trial with inadequate pain control were permitted to use ibuprofen as needed for rescue pain medications. Both trials demonstrated a statistically significant superior reduction in pain with Jernavix compared to placebo. Like any medication, Jernavix has potential side effects. The most common include itching, muscle spasms, rash, and increased levels of the muscle enzyme CPK. Also, this medication is metabolized by CYP3A4, and thus it's important to avoid taking medications or food that block this enzyme, such as grapefruit juice. Many are calling this approval a historic step forward as it offers a new effective pain treatment without the risks of opioid dependence. It provides patients and healthcare providers another valuable tool for managing acute pain. So what do you think? Could this revolutionize the way we treat pain? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye pharmacist.